am a uh, deputy sheriff uh, for Alameda County. I was looking for some, some guidance. Um, I come from a, uh, a father who teaches a, a Muslim art, a Filipino martial arts uh, that is called Kali, uh, that is uh, taught by the, the Muslims in the Philippines. Uh, so I grew up uh, training in that martial arts. So I've always had a natural affinity towards uh, Islam. Firstly, we go back uh, to high school, alhamdulillah. We went to James Logan High School in Union City. Um, I was class of 2011, so now I'm dating myself. And you are class of 2012, right? MashaAllah. And alhamdulillah, this is such a special occasion. This is a very strong young man. And as you can see, even the way that he's built, mashallah. So we used to play on the football team together as well. We played uh, varsity football together. I played wide receiver and he played cornerback. And for those who don't know about football, the wide receiver and the cornerback, they oppose each other. They go against each other. I'm on the offensive side of the ball and he's on the defensive side of the ball. And so even in high school, we've been sharpening one another through all of our practices, through all of our grinds, lifting together, mashallah. He called me and he told me, he said, you know what? Quran, you know, um, you and your father have always inspired me since high school. Again, I'm nobody, but again, we're just brothers and I'm just sharing a moment with you guys. In high school, alhamdulillah, is when I started to like, uh, you know, Hey, there's so many religions, there's so many people. Why is it Islam true? I started to really seek for my own self. I knew I was Muslim, but I didn't know why I was Muslim. I knew I was Muslim, but I didn't know why I was Muslim. So in high school, this senior year, actually what he's talking about is when uh, he said, you and your father really inspired me. And Jared, at the time, he was much more smaller than what he is. But he did everything that he could do to strive, and that shows mujahada, to strive and to struggle in the way of Allah through anything it is that we do, just things, even like football, right? Anything, you can take anything, any art in the world, and if you do it for the sake of God, there are all these microcosms that are in the same thing. You have to strive and struggle in anything it is that you do. This is the only way that how you get to Allah. And so he called me, he said, hey, yeah, man, I've been uh, fasting. I said, why have you been fasting? He said, yeah, and I've been praying. I said, what? I said, uh, did somebody show you? Like, did you go to any mosque or anything? He said, nah, man, I, I didn't do none of that. I just, like, I, I just know that to be the truth. So I don't know who it is that he's seen actually in his life. It's, it's Allah is the one who guides hearts. And Alhamdulillah, inshallah, we'll be inviting our brother into the fold of Islam. And Derek, we just want you to know some things before taking what is called your shahada, as you've already been practicing as a Muslim and what we spoke to you about. But now we say the shahada in front of the community so we recognize one another and then you know that you are in the brotherhood of eternity this this life is only temporal and we will be with the, with one another in the afterlife god willing inside of the inside of paradise inside the highest levels of paradise with our glorious messenger muhammad peace be upon him well we don't ever have to worry about sickness well, we don't ever have to worry about work but well, we don't ever have to worry about overcoming anything. There will be nothing but pure bliss. But in this world, we work with one another in order to get to this hardship. Is there anything that you would just like to share about yourself and how you, uh, you know, what was it that, is there anything that you would just like to share in general before we tell you what the Shahada is? We'll say it in Arabic and then we'll say it in English afterwards. I am a, a deputy sheriff uh, for Alameda County. Um, thank you for having me here. Uh, ready to learn, uh, to be a part of this community. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, looking for some peace as well. So Can thank you, you tell us a little bit? How did you come to like? How did you come to know that Islam is true? Um, 
it, it kind of found me. Uh, I was looking for some, some guidance. Um, I come from a, uh, a father who teaches a, a Muslim art, a Filipino martial arts uh, that is called Kali, uh, that is uh, taught by the, the Muslims in the Philippines. Uh, so I grew up uh, training in that martial arts. So I've always had a natural affinity towards uh, Islam, so to, so to speak. So, uh, also, uh, when I was looking for some guidance, uh, I was never a social media person, and I hopped on social media for other purposes, and Quran popped up as people you may know out of nowhere. And uh, yeah, I, I just thought it was a, it was a sign. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so we'll...